right, so it is almost midnight, 11.45-ish, which is a pretty precise-ish, I guess. It, it is 11.45. I am sitting at home by myself, uh, fairly bored, finally have a little bit of free time. So what I want to do is actually do uh, kind of a video that I don't normally do. Well, what I want to do is uh, play a scary game. I don't play a lot of uh, computer games. I play some occasionally. Uh, I just got a new computer, so I'm like, hey, you know what? Why don't I play a game and record it? Now, what better game or type of game to uh, record uh, than a scary game? Because it is late at night. I mean, it depends. It depends. I mean, I consider this late. I'm pretty tired, too. So, so I got this. That was fucking loud. Holy shit. Anyway, I got this camera going. I also have my capture card going, and then I have this camera here going. For what reason, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I might be able to edit that into the uh, video. So the game we'll be playing today is a game called I'm Still Here. Uh, I believe it's made by an indie team, like a, a couple, I think? I don't know. I don't know. It's made by uh, uh, two people. Two people. Two people made a game that is not uh, too entirely well known. I don't even know if a lot of people have streamed this or played it or done, have done playthroughs of it. I honestly, if I saw a lot of people did it, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> so I decided just to just to play it. And like any uh, any one of these horror games, it's always good to have earphones because you know it's uh, it gets you more engulfed. In Ghost in the uh, uh, horror. I'm probably gonna get scared. Ow. We'll start this bad boy up. I'm still here. So it looks like all we have to do is uh, click. Looks like I got control of the character here. Uh, finally moving into my new place. A chance to start a new life. The landlord seemed a little weird about this place, but I don't have time to worry about that. I need to finish putting those books away. The Mac keyboard kind of sucks for uh, computer games because the, the up and down arrows are like super tiny, so I'm gonna try my best here. We got the computer here, which a uh, majority of the game centers around the uh, computer. And a shitload of books that I have to put away, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna put away all these books. Neatly. Neatly. Damn it! This is uh, unusually difficult, which is weird. <sighs> Do I just have to take him out of the box, maybe, instead of... Almost done. Come on. That's a lot of books, man. Why are my books moving? I need to figure out what's going on. I should ask the internet for help. Hey, internet. Let's go around here. Holy crap, I can't control this. There we go. Uh, why don't my... All right, looks like I have a text selection with the arrows, confirm search with enter, and backspace, go back. So I got three choices here. I, why don't my books stay on the shelf? Parents want to talk to me? Why don't my bathroom lights work? Why don't my books stay on my shelf? Holy crap. Why don't my books stay on my shelf? Whenever I put my books on my shelf, they fall off. Why does it do that? You should throw your books away. Reading is for nerds. That's pretty funny. How do I keep things from moving. You should probably declutter your life and find a spot for everything you have. Well, that's not helpful. I have a painful lump in my armpit. 
Dreams when I'm driving and brakes don't work. I have a problem with stuff moving by itself. So I'm just gonna... I'm not even touching it or anything. My things keep floating around and junk. Hell, sounds like some voodoo stuff to me. You should get a witch doctor or something. Oh, snap. I think I have ghosts. Holy shit. It's floating! You dot dot dot. Hey, hey my computer. Yeah, definitely ghosts. You know, I'm just like sta I'm like standing on the couch. I should ask the internet how to get rid of these ghosts. This guy is a little overly dependent on Wahoo answers. This is exactly what I would do if shit was floating in my house. I'd be like, holy shit, I need to go to Wahoo Answers and find out what's going on. I'll just throw that back into the uh, tornado there. I have some voodoo stuff. I have some voodoo stuff going on. Sounds about right. There's still these creepy sounds and my TV keeps changing channels. Sounds like my grandma had spirits messing with her. If you can get their attention, you can ask them to stop. I have dream. Oh my God, come on book. I'm not even touching anything. My things keep floating around in junk. Help. Sounds like some voodoo stuff to me. You should uh, go get a witch doctor or something. Not helpful. How do I print screen using Mac? How do I know if I'm being haunted? The thing is a haunting because I think I'm being haunted right now. Things move around in their own creepy voices. Lights don't work. How do I keep things from moving? I did that one. How do I print screen? How do I get rid of a ghost? We'll go with that. I started experiencing a haunting and I want to stop. I read a book once that ghosts don't like it if you mess with the light switch. Hmm, this sounds promising. Guess I'll look for a light switch. I should flip my lights on and off to annoy the ghosts. That's exactly what you want to do. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Why is everything shaking? I can't turn. Is this a glitch? All right, the game freaked out a little bit there. It actually scared me. <laughs> oh, turn it on and turn it off. Off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on. Cut that out, dude, jeez. Said the ghost. Who said that? Get out of my house. No way, this is my house. Stop being such a jerk. This is my house now. You must be dead. Oh, wow, this is heavy. My spirit must be stuck here because my body still needs to be put to rest. It makes sense to me. Will you help find my body then? Sure, if it'll get you to leave me alone. I will find your body and put you to rest. Let's turn the light back on, okay? Um, where could it be? Oh. Okay. Not in the closet. Medicine. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure his body will be in the medicine cabinet. I was expecting like a uh, reflection or something in that mirror. Like that would have been creepy. Maybe he's in the turlet. He might be in the turlet. There he is. Oh my God, it's really him. Oh, can you help me move so I can stop haunting this place? I'll finally put you to rest, little buddy. Can I flush him? I'm free. Rest in peace, little buddy. I'll always remember you.
You go out and have a peaceful night and live comfortably in your new apartment. But you can never shake the memory of your little friend. You occasionally take a peek in the toilet and dream of finding them there again. But all you find in the bowl is emptiness. Occasionally there is a turd if you forgot to flush earlier. That's, that's not, that's not even that funny. That's like, uh, give me a fish. He's a fish. He's a fish. Well, that was, that was incredibly disappointing. I was expecting something a little bit uh, creepier than that. I, I, uh, I would not suggest trying that one. That sucked. Sorry. So that was a game that legit took roughly 10 minutes or so to actually complete. That was an unfortunate first outing for me. Uh, maybe I'll wait till I find something a little bit better. And then maybe do that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>